Oh, I'm feeling cozy. <laughs> you know, I'm putting cozy. on the jackets. It's so cozy. Actually, no, that's a really hot jacket. Anyway, hit the targets. John, hitting the target hit, immediately. Hit, hit the targets? <laughs> no, we <laughs> break in those break. targets. <laughs> John is looking to break Rob right now. All right, let's see. 60% unanswered thus far. Finally, Dill getting it in with the gyro and punishing John for picking it up. And John punishing for punishing. Just punish for punish. All right, John now once again with the gyro in hand. We've seen he's gotten some, like, nasty conversions out of gyro. Like, just tonight alone. Oh, caught the toes. You know... <clears throat> If John had to play, like, the perfect zoner kind of character with great burst options, mm -hmm. he would in any game. We Fit Trainer is their spirit animal. Spirit Smash animal. Because they're just a master at, uh, you know, using those items to their best advantage. I mean, we definitely saw John's meditation with his, his spirit master. Ever taken a micro nap? That's what he needed. Consulting his ancestors. What does the ancestors play? I don't know. I was I was imagining you know that like scene in Avatar where it's all the other avatars. He's just doing that with Fit Trainer. I mean, before Korra destroyed the Link. Anyway, Korra hate aside, John Numbers <laughs> on their third, still their first stock against Dill. Yeah, and Dill not looking too happy with that F Smash kill from John. John is just still chilling on this first stock. <clears throat> all right, really good parry there. <clears throat> All right, good job shielding the uh -oh. rotor arm. Once again, these gyro confirms. I love seeing this like late meta adaptation from John. Like before, we would often see John just throw the gyro up into the sky, take it out of play, which yeah. is a good option. Dude just no threw way. out a forward smash no and way. killed. <clears throat> did someone like stretch Weep its arms today? Because I feel she like did. those have been killing. She More stretched. often than not, she stretched. She That's stretched what the micro before. nap was for stretching. Because I want to see the hitbox on that. Did Dill extend or what happened? I yeah. Once we I, get to the yeah. last dog, because I feel like that hit just from so far. If we can just pause, right? Let's, okay. Let's get to her. Oh uh, geez, no! Okay. What? Did, it hit the... It just hit the, the base, the base of the Rob. <laughs> still, what? Still no, they nothing. jumped into it! Jesus Insane! Christ. I mean, that's just the thing. John is just never phased by pressure like that. For the record, I do like Legend of Korra. Just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> Anyway. I don't have any opinions on it, so just... You don't have a lot of opinions on good things today, I... do you? <laughs> I have opinions! I We <laughs> love your opinions. <laughs> Alright, Dill now with Gyro in hand, trying to find some sort of opening with the Z-Drop. But not quite finding anything just yet, just... Having to settle for, like, just this poke chip damage right now. John unable to actually... <clears throat> John unable to actually like get that uh, low crouch that they wanted there. Dill angling the laser just right, baiting John to go out. Yeah, definitely not something you see super often is you know, being able to challenge John off stage. He's usually just so good at forcing these reversals. What a call out on the sun salutation. I mean, Reflecting. once once Dill has that locked in of it, like, oh yes, they have sun salutation fully charged. It doesn't really hurt to let her rip at ledge. Yeah, and it's such a it was such a good play too, because even if John did like a classic stall with a soccer ball, would have caught the would have caught it with the arm murder. All right, both players just loading up their installs. John with a full sun salutation. The gyro is gone, but not gone forever. Ooh, has, wasn't able to parry the sun style in time. Had to take the shield damage. John unafraid to go far up into the air. Now they're a frequent flyer. They have their card. All right, finally, Dill getting a chance to put some extra credit on the board, going super low for that forward air. Uh, but no that's tech, not she should be fine, especially with an air dodge. But she has to land soon because you gotta get that gas back in the tank. Cannot take another edge guard situation like that. John had such a good mastery of where exactly Dill was gonna land. 
pressured with the soccer ball up above throughout the sun salutation once they landed. It was not a checkmate situation, but it was one where Dill had to just fight to get out of the corner. All right, let's see, getting a huge combo starter with that neutral air, but getting neutral, uh, neutral air of his own for his troubles. And John still living, but for how much longer? Getting a little, you know what, maybe just a little longer. They did recover 1.5% of damage with that Sun Salutation. And I love the adaptations that we're seeing from Dill from game one. She has drastically slowed the pace of her game down, and it is abs it is paying out for her. The longer you play Smash Brothers at a competitive level, the more you realize that no character has to be approached. In fact, no character should be approached. Yeah, really, Smash Bros. should be played at a distance. Like a turn-based strategy <laughs> game. That's why Joker is such high meta. All right. See right now, trying to go for more of those gyro snipes. Forward tilt, deleting the soccer ball, and resetting the situation for Dill. You know, that is an illegal move. They use their arms for that. <laughs> you can't <laughs> punch the soccer ball. That's illegal. That's right. Go to jail. Robot jail. Believe it or not, jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was no such a grounded. good that was such a there risky Dill. neutral air from John. Like, I'm pretty sure up throw is on the table for Dill right now. I think up smash, anything really. Or up air there from John 189. This is the most dangerous that we the trainer can get. All right, finally though, the forward air coming through for Dill. <clears throat> as she wants to get herself into a game three, does not want a reset. Because John at a local with like multiple games to play, that is him at his, his most powerful. I think John, once they're mentally like there and ready to scrap it out in grand finals, is always a danger. You know, whether they're at a local or a regional, John is always a force to be reckoned with. Dill Have they won a major? Not yet, but soon. <laughs> Dill right now showing that she is in fact a force to be reckoned with as she's got this this percent lead. Wow. Laser, get up off of me. Alright, John though, pressuring with the approach in the air, trying to get that deep breathing. A good idea with the up smash, but still avoiding that, but not for too long. And John is actually gonna be the one to close it out, bringing us to true finals. In 2 0. Could it have happened out. any other way with a House of 3000 Grand Finals? I mean, truly, this is. It is scripted. We have to get the most House of 3000 content that we possibly can. There, Look, there is always a twist before the happy ending. <laughs> but who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be John Numbers fighting for top place, or is it gonna be Dill? Yeah, who's gonna be able to ride off into the sunset tonight Three, with that pot two, as we get in one, to true finals? Now, no, to be fair, you can't really ride off into the sunset with daylight savings time. You can, true. you can ride off into the nightlight. <laughs> the, the sun was gone before I even got here. It's okay, the Empire State Building is always lit. Either that or that might be Times Square. Anyway, don't ride off to Times Square, ride don't off Don't go to Times Square, the, nothing good happens there. I mean, I got a $5 photo with Elmo, so that's something. Yeah? How how voluntary was that photo? Well, it was either that or my legs. Yeah. yeah. All right, pretty much dead even game right now. John is on the back foot, but not quite able to find anything out of that gyro as the back air pushes it back. Now back into Dill's hand. She's getting that little bit of charge on the board. All right, John taking the opportunity to get that install. Ooh, manages to control center stage Ooh. once more. Dill, Very scary, folks. Dill maybe a little confused on how to approach this, but finally gets that grab. John locked in. Oh, I love that forward air. You can see John was looking for a down air to try and reverse the situation. John was so surprised that he looked into the camera. <laughs> Mugged it for a split second. Blink and you miss it. The deep breathing up air is going to be taking that first stock and bringing us pretty much back to dead even. Now, next time there is a kill, do notice how John will look towards the right and Dill will also look towards the right. Oh no, I don't think she needed to do that second down air. I think John was just dead even with the aerial drift. All right, but are they going to make it back? Dill trying to challenge with those arms. 
The laser finally clipping John's feet. We've seen the way that John can punish you for not cleaning your plate, giving him a second chance at life, and already, look at that. It's John's game again. And, and deep breathing? Oh, Dill is dead if John gets another good hit there. Oh. The gyro stopping Sun Salutation. Dill getting frustrated, has to slow things down, recuperate their mental energy. Yep, Dill tried to force the issue to get back into center stage, but John with deep breathing just forming a wall. But speaking of, Dill looking to form a wall of her own here at the ledge. Really good job sharking with that up there. John oh is unafraid, God. though. John has been unafraid this whole bracket. Just grabbed Dill right out of up smash and living in arm rotor as well. Deep breathing coming through, reducing that damage just a little bit. And he is making the most out of it. In these situations, you always want to try and kill John as fast as possible, or even in like these situations where your opponent... Goodbye! All right. That was that nasty, but that's what Dill needed to do, is get that kill and get that kill sooner <laughs> oh rather than later. God. Did you see the reaction time? As soon as John pressed side B... That spikes. The, the that gyro spikes. is gone. <laughs> Deleted like Nana. Oh no, poor Nana. Catching strays when she's not even in the game. All right, Gyro finally coming out. John with it in hand though. Yeah, but these like long lasting uh, hitboxes of Rob have just not allowed John to get any of these like Z drop shenanigans. And that's what Dill is Ooh. afraid of once John does have that Gyro in hand. And John actually choosing to just beat it off the ledge there instead of grabbing it. Oh, because right. that's what's going to happen. Yeah, Jaira getting a little bit of space for John at the ledge. 149 now. Dill has to be super careful, but that's a lot of rage for Rob. Does nope. get caught by, clipped by the Gyro. No, John no, has no! has to leave out of the way. They're still alive. They jumped in. Sun Salutation <gasps> actually gets stopped by Gyro once more. Dill and the short tilt. Still tried to run in for the grab for the up throw, but John was ready for it. John has caused more rage this bracket than any <laughs> other, I think. Yeah, it really is. There's there's something about John today. I don't think I've seen someone this angry at John than than when Anvil visited from the Netherlands. Sorry, not the Netherlands, uh, Norway. Oh, yeah. He was beating his leg when it was like last game situation. <laughs> I'm still so sad. I miss I miss those. That's all right. It's always recorded. <clears throat> but anyway, speaking of which, this is possibly the last game of the night. John up one versus Dill, but Dill can always bring us to a game three. It is 11 o'clock, but don't you change that stream, folks. This is the best that you're going to see all night long. We're going to see if this is the final game of the evening or if Dill can finally put a game on the board. Because otherwise, this is going to be a John 4-0 for Grand Finals. John is very happy with that record. Barely falling out of the arm rotor. And once again, once John is given that second chance of life, he makes the most of it. Posture check, Dill. Posture check. I need posture check. Posture check, everybody. Dude, I've been, I've been Still, we're locked in too. for like the past hour or two. But Dill right now is no slouch as she cleans up that first stock. Once again, looking for that just reaction check, just standing at the other side with the gyro. All right, Dill maybe looking for another early percent kill here. No gyro left, but good damage. Yeah, get some great extra credit on the board. A throw into forward air now, setting John up at the ledge once again. Great meaty back air. And we might Dill be has seeing... all the answers here today. Okay. The, the soccer ball did come through. I was worried we were going to be seeing, like, a potential zero to death. That's a free back air. Yeah, Dill has turned on, well, pretty much everything. They are unchained. I'm going to be surprised. I'm going to say I'm a little surprised. Really? I'm, I'm surprised we didn't see a little sparkly eyes after that kill. No, no, you don't want to be the overconfident. She, uh, she, she might not have had the time for it, but in my heart, I feel like Dill was feeling it. No, Dill is no longer having fun. Dill is <laughs> no here to win. No fun allowed. We are here for business. And that and business is good. I mean, it, it may be all business, but this match right here is feeling pretty personal. Yeah, hey, after that last game, I feel it too. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, that coverage with the gyro from John. 
That's all right, Dill still at two stocks. John on their last one at 70%, but we know how John can get these really good, like 50 to 70% conversions. What do you think Dill has to do here? I mean, just not get caught in the John blender. That back air is a fantastic start to things. But John barely either. missing that down air. John's micro spacing on the hula hoops is fantastic every time I see it. Micro naps, micro spacing, everything this man does is for the winning kill. He, he is optimal in real life and in the game. Does he have a pet? Because I feel that'd be a very micro-sized pet, too. <laughs> micro everything for these major wins. All right, really good challenging here with the forward airs. Dill, Dill just wants the kill. And she's going to find it. Dill not going down without a fight, and we are moving on in to game three of True Finals, the final game of the evening. It couldn't have happened any other way. Dill was so locked on here. That first kill? We saw there, very clean, just dropping through the platform. And we just saw Dill go offstage over and over again, not letting yeah. John be back without a fight. And this will exhaust John. John is often allowed to just come back to ledge unchallenged. But if he has to exert so much energy just to get back, that's going to wear him down. That's what Dill is trying to do here. All right, coming into game three, deep breathing is online, and there it is, just 54% and climbing with the parry. You know, John's got the parry of timing of neutral air on lockdown. But Ooh. finally getting caught themselves. But 32% really is only half of what John dealt out to Dill. But doesn't really matter as long as Dill gets that first kill. All right, I love the ambiguous approach there, using the platform, just fastballing right through it. We've seen Dill take space on top of that platform before. I like the difference of using the gyro arm in like the high level and then dropping down to challenge John when he goes low. It's the best way to do it, really. Otherwise, you are going to have a situation where John can spike you, but that Sun Salutation always online at the worst possible moments for opponents. I mean, it's such a good tool for John, who as a player is such a strike second type of player. And when you just have that huge projectile that you can let loose at any time, it's just such a fantastic wish punish option. Well, you do have to charge it off, but in the thick of the battle, you always forget when it's actually online. Because sometimes it looks like deep breathing and you're just like, okay, I gotta worry about a powered up Weepa trainer. Oh, I'm sorry, it, the sun. Yeah, the difference is extremely subtle. Deep breathing is a red aura, while sun salutation makes the entire body glow yellow. How am I supposed to remember this when I have uh, like a hundred <laughs> different spikes in my face? What? Anyway, Dill, ignoring all of that, deep breathing is online as well as Sun Salutation. Yeah, I think the Sun Salutation is what makes those little circles appear around. The ah. little dots. The more you know. Yeah. I mean, it is really important to know which win condition John has online, when sometimes it's both. All right, the sun is off though. No deep breathing either. This is Dill's opportunity to get in there. But John knows this and will try and go for those grabs, those dash attacks. Let's see, I love the way that Dill has been using the gyro to catch John's landings and extend her advantage, but overextending just a little bit with that up air gives John now the uh, positioning. We're not seeing a lot of neutral airs. This is the first time we've actually seen this this cool. game. As John, as you said before, has that parry timing online. Okay. All right, Sun Sal is on lock right now. You've got to watch that shield, but it's... The shield itself doesn't matter as the stock is gone. John just needs one more stock to take Xeno 318. But Dill is looking to win as well. The gyro in hand once more. John cannot survive. John does he survive. He is in fact going to be surviving as the hula who poked their way through the arm rotor. What looked like such a free kill for Dill. You can never count John out. He is going to find his way home. And finally, 18.5%. This is so even. Both players now one stock away from being your Xeno 318 champion. Dill going in, shielding, and John actually poking on through. That shield is so low on Dill's end right now. 
really not a... She has two things to do with. She can't approach reliably, but you also can let John get deep breathing or charge up Sun Salutation. Yeah, I mean, that sort of dichotomy is just what makes Weepit such a scary character. Also, that up smash is terrifying. That was so much shield lag. She okay, shields the Sun Salutation, not even trying to parry it. At this point, you just can't take damage like that. Yeah, 113 to 31 right now. John is looking primed to take this final stock. But a great neutral air starter is putting damage on the board for Dill. John hasn't let go, let, John hasn't let go of this gyro at all. It's my gyro now. Oh, the gyro is coming right back, right back into John's loving that arms. That was a forward air and the spike box oh. hits and then a forward tilt to take it. John is your Xeno 318 champion over Dill in a phenomenal reset. Taking uh, grands and true finals 4-1 uh, over Dill. A fantastic performance after Dill took winners 2-1. Now John had the gyro almost in hand every single time it was on screen. Just doing a really good job of trying to challenge Dill at every opportunity. But Dill having some really good plays here as well. It just really came down to that last stock. Yeah, I mean, once John got that gyro in last stock, it just felt like his game to win. The shield pressure too is so scary. And that's what Dill was afraid of. Once that shield was down to nothing, it's like, okay, I have to do something. And if I'm not gonna be able to reset a ledge, then I'm gonna have to at least challenge. Is it, it was either that or a shield break, and no one wants a shield break. If we can go back to actually that exact moment there, I will go back here. The, the previous the, one? Yeah, the, ver one? Yeah, the, uh, the very last stock against <laughs> John. So funny. Not this one. No. Oh, Sorry, okay. uh, for Dill. La right. What what happened there? It was... Dill went for side B. No, 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 but like, it was the... Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. Oh, back I see. Yeah. Drop down just a little bit, and then the forward there with the... Spike hitbox actually bringing Dill all the way to the side. But here. yeah, if I mean, if we want to take a look at the mm -hmm. rest of this yeah. play box, there we go. Uh, so <clears throat> th this was such a good setup from John. You could see him at, after he throws the soccer ball, he's gonna throw or yeah, throw the gyro down to force Dill to catch it, putting her oh, in a frame trap for F tilt. That was so smart. Because, I mean, in that situation, she's at such hyper sense. If she doesn't catch the gyro, it's going to put her in a terrible position. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, that's what you have to do against Dill. I mean, take every opportunity to find those kills. Mm -hmm. And what that is, is going yeah. to be the end of the bracket. What a movie. You know, even if really we, we couldn't have scripted movie. it even better than I thought. So, so no, good job. No good notes. Job. No, no notes. notes. Ship it. Cut it. Print it. I mean, we'll we, we could also write it off for a tax break, you know, put it oh, in the God. House of 3000 vault. Why not? Why not? We can save $20. But not to worry. We'll upload the, <laughs> the rips to the House of 3000 YouTube channel, guys, where you can subscribe. You can see uh, between today and bombs, what was it, 100 VODs? 100 uh, VODs. But yeah, between today and, and bo bombs, it's 106. 106 VODs to be uploaded to the House of 3000 YouTube channel. If you if you guys are shown up, you you have some homework. You can take it home. You can do some VOD review. You can also uh, check out uh, twitch.tv slash House of 3000 where you are probably watching right now. Guys, support your local scenes. I know we say it every time, now more than ever, but seriously, now more than ever, come to Xeno Zero. Please. Yeah, come through. Uh, we can get this through. year to pop off. We can maybe make something happen. But all right, now we gotta, I, I we gotta do, make this year pop off. I do Please. want to confirm that Hi was talking with the waypoint guys over at uh, you know Gino, Richard, those guys up in the front, and Hi was like, no, no, I didn't mean it as I am closing it down. Just we're not gonna be here. I'm still trying to figure it out. That's what he yeah. said. Huh. And I'm like, you got to do a follow up because that yeah, scared please. the hell that out was, of everybody. That was the most like. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's scary out here, guys. But yeah. in the meantime. Every single Wednesday, you come down here, you I watch, and you prepare by going to bombs to grind it out. I think we have Street Fighter Six coming up this Monday as yes. well. Yeah, I, I, I want to point, I want to reiterate just about the VOD stuff. Like, yeah. I, I mean this really seriously, because like, you know, we we were one of the first to do like instant uploads and stuff like that, and like, it's just one of those things where, um, if you really want to get better, like going to your locals is a great place to do it. 
And if your local is able to give you your VODs, like, watch your VODs. Watch your losses. You're going to learn so much. You're going to improve so fast. Like, the fact that, like, we can get over 100 VODs at, from our local, like, it doesn't get better, you know? So, like... It's time to get good, everybody. It is yeah. time to get $10? good. $10? <laughs> That's VOD review money. $15 enter? That is even more VOD review money. And, I would say, at a steep discount. Now, we don't have a VOD technology over here at Waypoint Warriors. We do upload the full bracket, so... You know, we get what we can if you're on stream, but be sure to come out as well on Tuesday. Shout out to Waypoint Cafe NYC. So, bombs to prepare. Waypoint Warriors to also prepare. And then you come to the big events on Wednesdays. And if you want another fun event, we also have... The Final Fantasy thing isn't showing up. Not showing up, but it that's okay. <laughs> there is a, you know, if we can unjam it, it is it's nah. just not there. You know what? Forget about it. Go play Final Fantasy VII at home. You don't have Final to go Fantasy watch a piano a recital. Piano collections. Oh, I didn't refresh that. I'm sorry. That that was an ad for last week. It's, it's uh, not relevant okay. to this week. There was a recital last week by oh, uh, that's cool. Auto Team. It was really sick. Um... But yeah. All right, guys. Sign off. So, guys, right. thank you so much for being here. It is always a pleasure to cast with Force Armor and everybody else who has been here. Shout out to the new caster, Zui, who has been showing up and trying to get better every time. But you know what? You guys who are watching, who are playing, who are supporting us at every step of the way are the best. You know, production is great. We're great. The players are great. But you know what? It's really you guys who always bring the energy and make us want to do this every single week. So thank you. All Peace right. out, guys. See later. later. Thank <laughs> you.